Hello and welcome to Wellington County Library's 3D printing certification video. We will be covering the basics of 3D printing, navigating a website to find a design, scaling and modifying that design, and reserving time to use the printer to make your own print. After completing this video, you can contact your branch staff and let them know that you've watched this video and completed the certification. They will then record the certification on your library account. To use the printer in branch, you must have a valid Wellington County Library card and be 13 years of age or older. If you are under 13 and you would still like to become certified, you are more than welcome to do so, but to use the printer in branch, you must be accompanied by someone who is 13 or older who has also taken the course. You can book the 3D printer by contacting staff at the branch that has the printer and asking them for availability. Be ready to tell them an estimate of how long it will take. A time must be booked in advance and prints must start and finish during open hours. The loan period for the printer is two hours. If your print will exceed this time, please speak to staff at the time of booking and there may be a fee for longer prints. There are currently no charges for a standard two hour loan period. When you have the 3D printer booked, it is your responsibility to stay with the printer during the entire print. We ask that you have a file ready and be able to start the print on your own. If it is your first time using the printer after watching this video, a staff member would be happy to help you get started. Please note there is a zero tolerance policy for printing prohibited items such as weapons or sexually explicit content. Staff at your branch will have the printer ready for you with the filament loaded and be able to provide basic help and troubleshooting should an error occur. Staff are not responsible for preparing your files. You must ensure that your print is the right size and has been exported from MakerBot and Cubicreator 3 to a USB. Please alert staff to any error messages. 3D printing is done on a special printer that uses a computer file to create a three-dimensional object. These objects are made out of a plastic filament that is heated, laid down in liquid layers, and then rapidly cools to form a solid object. The printer reads the file and then prints the object layer by layer. Spools of filament are loaded into the machine and fed through the extruder, which heats the plastic and controls where it is laid down. This is the filament, which you can think of like the ink for a regular printer. It prints with a plastic resin called PLA, which is made from corn sugar and is non-toxic. The extruder runs on an X and Y axis, which allows it to move around the build plate. You can think of the extruder like a hot glue gun. It heats up the filament spooled into it until the filament softens and can be laid down in liquid layers. The filament quickly cools so the extruder can go back and lay another layer on top to build the print up. This is how 3D printers can create three-dimensional objects. The extruder does get very hot, up to 215 degrees Celsius to melt the filament. So do not put your hand near the extruder while printing and be careful when removing your print if it has just finished. Keep the cover closed at all times while printing. The time it takes to print an item depends on the size and complexity of an object. This horse, for example, took six and a half hours, whereas this bracelet took 40 minutes, and this owl bookmark took only 15 minutes. Items that are too small will not print in good quality. If you would like a different color, or if the printer is out of filament, we ask that you allow staff to change the filament in the 3D printers for you. If it is not done correctly, it can damage the inside of the extruder. When you book a printer, Feel free to request a certain color of filament and staff can let you know if it is available and have it ready for you when you arrive. The library currently owns several MakerBot and Inksmith 3D printers. The printers work in conjunction with MakerBot Print and Cubic Creator 3 Desktop, free software that can be installed on any computer. A design is saved as a .MakerBot or .HFB file, which is then exported onto the printer, either by connecting a laptop directly or by using a USB. MakerBot items are generally built on a raft, which helps support the item while printing, but is later discarded. Inksmith items are generally built without a raft. The MakerBot uses .MakerBot files, which can be created using MakerBot print. The Inksmith uses .STL files, from which the Cubic Creator 3 software then converts into an HFB file for printing. When you export a file from these softwares, it will automatically save in the correct format. If you're using a different program to create your object, such as AutoCAD, Tinkercad, or Blender, you will have to convert it to a .MakerBot or .HFB file by running it through the software before printing. 
MakerBot Print and Cubic Creator 3 Desktop are free downloads that are available on all public computers in the library and can also be downloaded at home. Thingiverse is one of the most popular sites to obtain 3D designs. You can enter a search into the search bar in the top corner and browse until you find something you like. You'll notice that some of these designs show a picture of the final product, whereas some only show a blue graphic representation of what the print should look like. Look for prints that have finished design photos. Some files show only what the designs should look like, but there is no guarantee they are a well-designed print file. Let's review how to find and begin a print for the Inksmith printer. First, go to www.thingiverse.com to find something you want to print. Click Download All Files on the page for the item you want to print and Save File. A zip folder will be saved to your computer. Check the Downloads folder. It should be saved there. Open the zip folder and find the STL file. Save the STL file to the desktop or another easy to find spot. Open your Cubic Creator 3 software. Click on File and Load. Find the STL file you just saved and click Open. The object will be placed on your grid which displays X, Y, and Z axes. From here, you can scale the object, move it on the build plate, and adjust it in other ways. This takes some practice and hands-on time, so feel free to try Cubic Creator at home or come to the library to test it out. Once you're happy with your object, check the print settings. Click Print on the top menu. Review that PLA is a selected filament material under Basic Setting. Under Expert Setting, you can modify a lot of things, but the only thing to generally watch for is the bed temperature setting. This should be set to 55 degrees. All other settings are optional, and your print should be fine with these left at default. When you're ready to print, you'll need to transfer your file to USB. Still in the print window, select the G-Code button. This is what will export your STL file in the correct file format for the Inksmith printer to read. The software will automatically name your file with the material type and whatever file name was already associated. Make sure you save this file to a USB. Plug the USB into the printer. On the touch screen, click Print. Click File to choose which item you want to print. Select the correct print file. Once you do, the file should automatically save to the printer itself, meaning you can remove the USB from the printer at any time. Continue through the menu options to begin your print. Let's move on to the MakerBot print software. Like with Cubic Creator, if we are using a pre-existing design, we'll start in Thingiverse. You can open Thingiverse from the MakerBot print app on the left menu by selecting the T. Follow the same steps as with Cubic Creator to download a file and save it on your desktop or folder of your choice. Back in the app, open the gray folder to access the project panel and select Add Models. The menu on the right side will allow you to view the print time for your model. With all 3D prints for both Inksmith and MakerBot, add approximately 10% more time to be safe. It will also allow you to modify your print. Under Scale, you can leave uniform scaling to make your print larger or smaller by increasing or decreasing the percentage, or uncheck uniform scaling to adjust one axis at a time. If you are on the MakerBot Mini and directly connected to the 3D printer through a library laptop, this red button will read Print instead of Export. Printing will automatically begin the print. If you are on one of our larger MakerBot printers, you will need to export your print to a USB by clicking Export and saving your file to your USB. Once you've inserted your USB on the printer, on the touch screen, click Print. Continue through these menu options to begin your print.
3D printing is changing the world. While at first glance, it might just look like this is a cool toy without much real world value, people are already using them in incredible ways. Here are just a few examples of things being printed right now. And those are just a few of the things that our own printer could print. More advanced and specialized printers are being used to print things like skin grafts for burn victims, perfectly customizable medical implants, concrete prefab housing, car parts that can then be used to assemble an entire car, and more. For more information and to get started on your first print, contact your branch staff of the Wellington County Library. For more in-depth videos detailing how to print and use the MakerBot and Cuba Creator software, we recommend YouTube. There are hundreds of videos that go into more detail than we are able to here.